Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we're going to take a look at a no contact situation between you and the person that you're currently not speaking to. This is a general love reading. If it resonates, feel free to show some love towards the channel. This reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising, Capricorn placements, cross watches. Feel free to reverse roles. And if you feel that your messages are not here, Capricorn, check out your other placements or alternatively you can just tune back in next time when I upload a new reading for your sign. Thank you for tuning into this video and showing your support. It really means the world. Thank you, Capricorn. We're going to ask Spirit and Tarot now. How does this person that you're in no contact with currently feel towards you? So Spirit Angels and Guides, please show us how this person that Capricorn's in no contact with currently feeling towards the sign of Capricorn. So first card is the moon. Okay. Could be connecting to a Pisces. The Four of Cups and the six of pentacles okay let me just fix my camera <clears throat> how does this person currently feel towards capricorn okay hmm so I can see very clearly here with the moon that this person still has an emotional connection or an emotional attachment to you. Um, this person may be trying to ignore their emotions or ignore their feelings here, but I can see why they're ignoring their feelings and it's because with the four of cups it's because they feel like you are acting sort of unbothered uh, towards them okay so this person feels like you're you're showing indifference or like you're ignoring them and they're trying to ignore their feelings towards you, which I feel like could be maybe amplifying their feelings for you even more so. You know, the fact that you're showing indifference or the fact that you're ignoring them um, is emphasizing or highlighting the fact that they have these this emotion towards you or they have these feelings towards you look in all honesty uh capricorn this person still would love something from you um with the six of pentacles this is reciprocity so this could be like this person still wants a connection with you they would still like to have a relationship with you they would like some kind of interaction from you here so let's just look at this. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Spirit. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for this person's feelings towards Capricorn? Let's have a look at this. Yeah. And it's because you're not giving them anything. I feel like Capricorn, this person is, is showing me that you are ghosting them that you are giving them the golden silent treatment, <laughs> that you are giving them this golden silence. I don't know why I heard golden. <laughs> so somebody tell me what that's about. Um, uh, it's because I, I, I'm, I'm interpreting that as, you know, silence is golden. Um, that's why I could hear the word golden here. Um, yeah, so this person is definitely feeling like you are withdrawn and they are hoping that you come out of this hermit mode. They want you to come out of this hermit mode. Yes. Okay. Let's have a look at the moon. Why is the moon here, spirit? Why is the moon here for this person's feelings towards Capricorn? You could be connecting to a Virgo too, by the way. Uh, the Ten of Wands. 
Yeah, like I said, uh, Capricorn, this person is trying to ignore the fact that they don't have feelings for you. The Ten of Wands would indicate that this person is trying to stay strong. You know, they're showing strength or they're trying to be strong in this situation. But I feel like their emotions are getting on top of them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The fact that you're ignoring them or you're showing indifference towards them is actually being highlighted right now by the fact that all these emotions that they have for you are coming up to the surface. All right. So what does this person want with Capricorn? What does this person want with Capricorn? <clears throat> what do they want with Capricorn exactly? What are their intentions here with Capricorn? Um, I'm also getting here with the moon and the ten of wands that this person is really struggling with their emotions and it's because they have all of these feelings for you that they can no, they like they can't ignore these feelings that they have for you anymore. It's like you can only suppress your feelings for so long. And to me, this is like a pressure cooker. And it's because this person isn't being 100% honest with themselves. You know, the moon is, this is Pisces energy. So this person is kind of living some kind of an illusion. They're living some kind of lie here. You know, they're not being 100% truthful with themselves. Mm. All right, what is it that this person wants with Capricorn? What do they want with Capricorn? Let's have a look. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot could be dealing with the Cancerian and the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do feel uh, that this person would like to talk to you very much. I feel like they would like to come forward with the Chariot. I feel like they would like to come forward and talk to you. Um, maybe even ask you uh, with the Seven of Pentacles if there is an opportunity or a possibility of, you know, working, working this out or working things out. Um, if there is an opportunity to water and nurture what you guys had together. Because the Page of Swords for me is questions. So this person wants to ask you, they want to ask you, hey Capricorn, like, is there a chance of us working this out? You know, like we, we have history here with the Seven of Pentacles. Do you really want to throw this away? I'm going to clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? This person really wants to continue nurturing and growing um, what you guys had together. The question remains whether or not you want that as well. That's what they're asking themselves here. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, see? This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And again, the Queen of Cups is a nurturing energy. So I'm getting that very, very strongly, guys. That this person wants to know if there's an opportunity to continue to nurture what you guys had together. Mm. Okay, that's, it's obvious here. Um, and the Queen of Cups, this is this is water energy this is speaking to emotions and feelings so this person wants to nurture the emotional connection or continue to work on the emotional connection um yeah okay so let's ask Spirit now. 
what action will this person take towards Capricorn? Spirit, angels and guides, what action? What action, if any, will this person take towards a sign of Capricorn? Um, sorry, Capricorn. And I'm also seeing here that this person wants to ask you, this is not going to be for all of you, but do you still love me? They want to ask you, do you still love me? Is there still love between us? Because Queen of Cups is love, you know, and if there's still love in this situation, then things can still be worked out here. Look, Queen of Cups again, guys. There's the action, Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, Two of Swords. I'm feeling like the Two of Swords is you. So the Two of Swords would be in this instance, you blocking this person energetically, physically, emotionally, blocked. Mm. And I feel like with this, uh, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups is again, someone who can be very patient. So I feel like this person is trying to be patient with you um, and trying to also give you time and space Um, maybe they're trying to show empathy towards you or they're trying to be understanding of your position as to why you you're blocking them you know the queen of cups she's kind of like yes i'm i'm she, this is someone who is being very receptive they're being receptive towards you this is not someone who is forcing or pushing anything at this time. The Six of Swords is here. So we can see here that this person would like to, you know, move through the current obstacle, which is, you know, the, the blocking energy. Um, but I don't, I'm not sensing that this person is pushing or forcing you to change your position. It's more like they're trying to be patient or they're showing understanding, they're showing empathy. <clears throat> they're trying to be considerate. So let me just clarify uh, the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here with regards to this person's actions towards Capricorn? Yeah, the justice. So obviously this person, okay, could be a Libran as well, um, also here. I feel like this person's trying to be fair with you. Yes. They're trying to be fair towards you or they're trying to be fair with you. This is someone who can see it from both sides of the coin or both sides of the sword. So this is someone who is showing understanding towards you and your position. Mm. I'm going to look at these two of swords. Why is the two of swords here? Why is the two of swords here? The ten of pentacles. Hmm. 
Well, the Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate stability. It's a, it's a future card. This is ultimate stability. This is, I'm thinking of my future. And because it's coming in with the Two of Swords, um, maybe Capricorn, you can't see a solid and stable future with this person. Yeah, you're like, mm, I, I can't see myself having a solid and stable future with this person. But yet this person is trying to be understanding towards you about that. And maybe here with the Six of Swords, it's because this person perhaps showed you missed, mixed messages. And because the Six of Swords is here, this is the card after the Five of Swords. So perhaps this person can understand now why you're blocking them because they weren't being maybe straightforward with you or they weren't being transparent with you. The Six of Swords comes after the Five of Swords. So uh, to me, it's making me feel like this person is aware that they were sending you mixed signals or they were sending you mixed messages and you're like, hell no. This person's too wishy-washy for me. I'm not, they're too unstable. They're too unpredictable. I'm not letting this person close. I'm not letting this person in. I can't trust them. And I feel like this person is, like their actions towards you is about giving you space, patience and time. Maybe to help you see that they can be this stable person. Let me clarify the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here with regards to this person's actions? Maybe things didn't, you know, start off on the best foot. But the Six of Swords is showing me that they would like to move things, you know, toward a much more um, peaceful direction, a better direction. The Eight of Swords. Mm. So what this person is showing me with regards to their actions is they don't know what the future brings. They don't know what the future holds right now. All they can do is just put one foot forward in front of the other and just be present and just keep putting one foot forward in front of the other and just continue to show patience and understanding towards your position. That's what this person's showing me, okay? All right, what's the last parting message or the advice for Capricorn here, Spirit? Last parting message or advice for Capricorn? <clears throat> Look, I feel with the Queen of Cups that this person does have feelings for you. I do. Um, and it seems like they're serious or they're starting to develop stronger feelings here for you. What's the advice for Capricorn? The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Okay, so a possible future or a reconciliation, you know, Ten of Cups, reconciliation, reunion is possible if this is something that you wish or desire for yourself with this person. It's definitely on the cards because the Ten of Cups is here. The question remains whether or not you can see yourself being with this person, Capricorn. If you can see yourself being with this person, by all means, I, I invite you to open yourself up to this person. Of course, intuitively, you've got to feel like that's something that you want as well. Um, it's definitely something that this person would like to have with you or, or would like to experience with you. Um, but I definitely feel like a reunion is on the cards. And, you know, this is, this is love. 
This is happiness in a relationship. This is emotional togetherness. This is emotional connection. Um, this is the ultimate, you know, happiness, relationship, love card. So it's definitely there. Um, it's possible. It might not be rooted in the 3D as yet, but this energy is available to you if this is something that you desire as well. So I'm gonna leave that right there, Capricorn. If that resonated with you, let me know. If you drew a different message from the Ten of Cups, please feel free to drop your comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.